Hello, today I'm going to be looking at how to create a night sky using just textiles. Um, so first of all, I've gathered some bits and pieces here together for you. Um, I've got some dark teal cotton fabric, which is just the right sort of shade. You can use dark blues, you could even use blacks or greys if you wanted to. But I've gone for, for that, so I've got that. I've also got some beautiful dyed sari silk strips, which I've then cut out some of the darker and slightly greener pieces. I've pressed those open, which you'll see in a minute, um, and that gives you a little bit of texture, but smooths things out a little bit more for the sky. Next, I've got some beautiful green chiffon. Um, Green probably is um, a slightly unusual colour to, to use, you might think, but it actually works really well, um, which I'll show you in a little bit. And then here I've got some grey organza. It's got a slight sparkle to it, um, which will really lift the sky. Um, and I'm going to put that around the, the moon to uh, give that shimmer that you get from the moon. And then the final piece is this which is um, basically it's it, it's some tulle um, some sort of uh, neck curtainy sort of fabric that I picked up in a scrap shop really um, and what I've done is I've put a bit of stabilizer on the back so that I can actually cut a nice perfect circle um, and I've drawn that circle just using the bottom of a reel of thread. It's just about the right size. So um, what I'm going to do is start by just cutting that out. So it makes it a lot easier with fabrics that don't stay still very easily to put a little bit of stabiliser on the back. So I'm just cutting round. And then I'm probably going to leave that on the back. You can take it off if you want to, but I'm going to leave that so that when it comes to doing my moon, it's nice and circular. There we are. I'll pop that over there. So I'm just going to pick you up and show you what I've got over here. So here's my moon. I've cut a strip of the cotton. Here are the press strips of the sari silk. Uh, followed by the green chiffon and some slithers here of the sparkly silvery organza. So what I need to do now is to start to lay them on the piece. So I'm going to start by using 505 spray, a temporary fabric adhesive. And I'm just going to spray lightly just over the top of this piece of cotton and then I'm just going to I've marked out my square so I'm just going to put that just slightly over the edge like that there we are and then I'm going to move down to my silk strips so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to space them out a bit And then I'll start with this one, which I will bring down here, just about there. And then this darker one can go up here a bit. If I put this over the top of the uh, cotton fabric, it just makes the sari silk strip a little bit darker so what I'm actually doing is doing a combination of leaving some bits of the cotton exposed and then also leaving some where I put it over the top so I'll just put that bit along there and then this bit can go along here I think a bit like that so I'll keep offering up my mount to make sure I'm happy with the combination 
I'm then going to pop these over the top here. Spray this one. And this just helps to blend things in a little bit more. with that so often there's a lot of fiddling around until I'm happy with the composition and the blend let's have a look at that Yes, that is much better. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to actually stitch that in place so that that won't move. And to do that, I'm using a clear medium weight nylon thread in the top of my machine and just white bobbin fill in the bottom. Bring that up to start with. That's fine. And then it's just a case of going up and down to actually secure it all in place. If I can make that a bit bigger for you so that you can see. better if they're not and they don't have to be evenly spaced again it's probably better if they're not just going make sure you go over the edge each time and then we're just going along to secure these bits in place we need to look at uh, putting our lovely moon in place. So you can do two things with your moon. You can either have it high in the sky or you can have it low and then half hidden underneath some uh, mountains or hills or with a tree in front or something like that. But I'm just going to pop mine there like that. And then I've got the grain going horizontally, which works much better, because then what I'm going to do is put on these silver strips over the top. So I'm just going to pop these here. Again, they're not straight. And just repositioning those. 
just so that I'm happy with those. Let's have a look. The organza does fray, but you can trim that a little bit later. And just to bring a little bit of balance in, we've just got this bit, which I'm going to pop in there. Like that. Okay, so next job is to secure this in place. Now then what I'm not going to do is go around the circle here because that accentuates the fact that um, it's been added and you want to create a much more natural look. So all I'm going to do now is on these pieces of sparkly organza, I'm going to stitch those down again in clear thread and that will secure the moon in place without actually stitching a circle around it. Pull this forward again so that you can see and again just bring up that that's it just put that through there just to detach my thread over here again Right, so what I'm doing now is just attaching this in place. So just follow the lines roughly. And with a clear thread, you won't actually be able to see at all, really, unless you're really looking for it. Then we lift up and we come over to here. Pop that down. need to cut the strands that are in between and pop that over the top so that you can see and there you have it one night sky I hope you've enjoyed watching this and I look forward to you joining me again next time